All right, welcome everybody to another round of the Corona Cup. Tonight we have Aaron and Mark. Aaron flying some uh, imp aces and Mark flying his kind of scum, his big booty scum, we'll call it. Uh, big bases, three scum ships, got some abilities. Um, should be a pretty good match. Apparently Aaron was able to really dominate in his last round. Uh, this one, I don't think he will have such a uh, easy time. Those big bases have a lot of health and uh, are immune to a lot of his arc dodging shenanigans. So uh, we'll see how this game goes. Uh, joining me tonight in the commentary booth, I have Christian Daniel again. I think he's here. That's me. Hey, there you are. Welcome, welcome. It happened to jump in right as you started your intro there, so I heard the whole thing. Oh, perfect. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we got rocks placed, pretty standard configuration, kind of in the center, more on Mark's side. Mark, yep. um, I believe, I can't remember who took the initiative here. Oh, yeah, uh, Mark has the initiative, so he placed all of his ships uh, there in that corner. And kind of turning fifth brother here into a uh, a budget ace, if you will. Now that he gets to move afterwards. So. Well, at fifty points, he's not exactly budget. <laughs> Fair point. Um, I'm not actually sure if that was necessarily the right call. Uh, I heard him as they were discussing it. Just kind of like, eh, I guess. But uh, if he has to spend a force on defense, that could really affect his choice to uh, be able to use his ability there absolutely mm -hmm. um but it is hard because you know it's for so long in almost every situation you want to give your opponent the initiative you want to move move last um but there are a few exceptions to that rule yep absolutely um magpulse so, missiles for example comes to mind pretty pretty handily mm -hmm. especially with all the ships at well. initiative five if you put in a magpulse missiles on your initiative five ship you know, all of a sudden have this incentive to shoot first. Yeah. If, then again, unless you have Kylo in your list, then uh, you do want Kylo to move last because he is right. just whew, hard to pin down. Yeah, so it looks this, like this balancing act that a lot of different moving parts come in together. And you got to figure out exactly where you want to be. And a lot of the time that does lead to compromises. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like we got some people chatting in there. Do, 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 do. All right, so it looks like, uh, oh, that was the timer starting. And uh, we're off to round one. Looks like the chat's kind of siding with Mark here, thinking that he's going to have uh, a pretty easy time here. Well, looking at looking at uh, his opponent's list, he's definitely going to be an easy time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of power in those Imperial Aces. That is true, but, you know, there's a lot of health on, on uh, the other side of the board here. Oh, Morallo going off the board round one. Um, I don't know yeah, if I right. like that direction going off. I would have liked to see him go off on kind of the, the top of the board there. But, uh, you know, to each their own, it still gives him a lot of options here to kind of come in from the side or whatnot, because you do have to come back in on the same board edge you left. Right. It looks like he may be trying to set up for an outflank on Sintir if he comes back in over near the sun on the bottom of the board and mm -hmm. then goes right back off again. It'll come down right there at the base of Cloud City, puts mm -hmm. him behind Aaron's entire list. Yeah, yeah. Sintir just he's just going fast with uh, with everything, um, and really with the way Vader's coming in there, you know, Morallo has some options if he does come over to this corner and flies off the board edge again. Yep. The important thing to remember is that decision is made during the planning phase, once you've seen where everybody finally ends up. Mm-hmm. Yep, all right. Well, we'll see. Oh, no, he's just going to say, you know what? I'll just I'll stay back over here. and But we might see him three hard off that board edge, too. Absolutely true. Mm -hmm. Which is, if, if you bring Morallo, I think you have to start off on a board edge with the option to go off. Um, and I think it's always got to be either the left or the right board edge. Because then you have the option to shoot across the board. If you go off your own board edge, it's kind of like, well, I could have just set up on the other side of the board. Uh, right. Maybe that's just me. So it's definitely a not a particularly optimal way to use his chargers. But he does have two of them. 
That's true, and it, it is so one of those ships. He may have done what a lot of people do with smaller ships, set one of his ships up behind in such a way that he can just fly it and get in right in behind his other ships. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this may have just been his strategy from the beginning. Yeah, that is true. I mean, that's a lot of arc coverage he has right now, and now even if he gets a bump or something, that's double arc coverage at a minimum uh, pretty much anywhere those ships are going to end up. You may want to jump in and tell them that Asajj does not have an arc indicator right now. I thought I saw him put it back on there. It does not look like it. Okay. Do you see it anywhere on the side of the board? I think it got... It may have been oh, deleted there it is right it. here. Um, it's up by the blue corner. If you would uh, huh. pick a color and or if you type it in the chat, they might see it. Yeah, I can't change colors. They've got them locked out, but I will let them know. Okay. <laughs> Yep. It's one thing to pay attention with on TTS. Those arc indicators and other things can easily get dislodged and moved. Let's see here. All right, so we got kind of the toilet bowl starting to swirl here. We're probably going to see soon tier, maybe three bank, I would think. Or just another five straight. Who knows? Whoa. You can't barrel roll there. They are in the other Idea Squad chat, correct? Yes. The general chat. Hmm. Yeah, you got Aaron really spreading his ships out here. Um, you do want to be able to converge at some point, but you also really don't want to have one of your ships taking three shots. Um, Vader maybe in. Fifth brother, maybe. Definitely not soon tier, I think. That's for sure. Um, soon tier, even with those three dice, um, can definitely pop at any moment. All right. They're double checking those arc indicators there. Oh, they're pausing the time. All right, looks like we are going to pause time while they're trying to get these arcs figured out. Yeah. Because the indicators are being odd. Yeah, it seems to be right on the top of the ship here. You know, it's just right. spawn it's, in a couple it's new ones. Floating, it's floating about four inches. Well, I'd say four inches. <laughs> about four real world inches above the table and doesn't seem to be snapping to the bases like it's supposed to. Yeah, I think he's going to spawn in another copy of his list here. Ta-da! Find the PC working. And copy and paste. I believe that is the plan, yes. There we go. I like how you can see the finger click when you hit the button. There we go. Ta-da! Fantastic. All right. Easy peasy. Get a few extra seconds of planning this round and it was quick enough that I may not even edit that out <laughs> and the time is running again perfect all right <clears throat> so we're gonna see Aaron trying to jockey for position here bring in uh, Soontir and Inquisitor way around the back um, trying to get Mark to kind of chase down Vader I don't know if he will um, he does have Morallo in that position to where he can three hard off the board edge and come back behind and try and catch either Suntir or the Inquisitor back there. Yeah, uh, he definitely has the option for that little not exactly a 4K. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or not exactly a turnaround. Yeah. Um, then you do have Tell with a 4K and Asajj with a 5K able to change directions. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The other thing you got to remember, though, about especially about the YV-666, is that arc is enormous. Once you, once that ship is lined up the correct direction, it is very difficult to get away from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is Aaron's uh, second game flying Imperial Aces. Uh, apparently he's not an ace player, so he's uh, he decided to go for it in this tournament. Sounds and, like a pretty risky uh, strategy to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally I love Imperial Aces. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a great archetype to, to go for. Ooh, uh-oh. That's not good. Asajj on a rock. Definitely not what you want to see. Mm -mm. Her ability will go off if she manages to get a ship at range one, but that is not looking likely. No, yeah, and I don't think the stress is going to be super crucial here. It looks like she's not going to take a damage for that, though, at least. Well, that's that's good. So we'll probably see a three hard here from Morallo coming in, lining up. Yep. Oh, wait, that's a, uh, yep. Skirting right around that gas cloud there. Mm-hmm. So that definitely puts him in a very good position to get his arc wherever it needs to be. <laughs> I personally don't feel like we have enough 180 arcs in this game. Oh, that's right. Uh, Jax pointed out that her ability is range 0 to 2. So, uh, all right. Could well, maybe right. catch Vader, but I doubt it. It's no. Asajj, not kept mm -hmm. My mistake. <laughs> All right, so... We're setting up here. We've got uh, a bunch of rounds of kind of this cat and mouse game here. We are getting close. We're probably going to see shots next turn for sure because Morale is going to turn in, um, I would imagine, turn in towards the uh, towards the Inquisitor. Or uh, not Inquisitor. It is an Inquisitor, sort of. <laughs> the Fifth Brother and Soon Tear down there. Um, Asajj is going to want to be careful because if it does, if Asajj turns that way, you risk uh, that other little bat rang rock there. Yeah. Those rocks are definitely going to make things a little bit difficult for Mark here. Mm hmm. Though he does have the advantage of large base ships being able to fly especially where he is right now his his corner's on that rock most definitely but his there's almost no way for his template to get on top of it that is true yeah so you definitely at least have that that point of reference yeah to help you overcome the ttsi is i do wonder though if he does it too hard to the left will his back corner end up on that rock i can't remember I it's, it's hard to visualize that so. Yeah, so I think he might have to do a three hard if he wants to turn that direction, but then he'll be running the risk of getting really close to the uh, the bat rang rock there. Right. I don't I don't actually think there's a way for him to turn there without hitting one the other or putting himself in a position where he can't avoid mm -hmm. the other. Yeah, I wanna believe that that three hard will fit in there and uh, it may be worth the risk of, to try it. Um, I don't really see. There's not a huge downside if you don't get it. Um, yeah, so the too hard will still be on the rock, according to the uh, the chat there. Thanks, yeah. Tanker. So I believe the difference between a one hard, a one hard, the corner will slightly overlap your original position. A two hard, I think it's half a base, roughly. Mm -hmm. So it will definitely still fit on that rock. Yeah, he could take Asajj down and just fly really fast straight towards vader um, i was, was going to mention that next and he could just go completely for, to the wall for this yeah but then there's not a lot of places vader can go if it's not five straights no but vader's probably gonna three hard right now and then have auto boost or auto or auto thrusters what are we calling them nowadays afterburners, afterburners. um same art yeah so I don't think he gets a shot. Well, there's the uh, the hard turn from Morallo, yep. <laughs> not ending up on that gas cloud beautifully. 
So seeing that, that I definitely massive. think that the three hard works for Asajj. Oh, nope. Went for it. He okay. Ain't afraid. You know, I, it's an interesting call. You have the one ship versus Vader. I'm not sure what you do. The only good thing is Vader's, unless Vader somehow did a Talon roll, is not going to be shooting at you. And even yeah. if it was, it wouldn't be in a very effective shot with only the two dice. Right. There's a the target lock there. From massage on the Vader. Mm-hmm. Tells the just taking his sweet time. Yep. Gotta stay gotta stay wide because that left turn handicap there is Ooh, not quite. Almost got that lock there, but it looks just out. Yep. So correct me if I'm well, wrong, I... but nubs don't count for the target lock. The only they thing I think not. nubs count they... on is bombs. They only count if you touch stuff with them. Mm-hmm. Nubs do not count for measuring range. Hey, uh, nubs and target locks remind me. Nubs nope, we do were not just count talking for measuring. About that. That's what I thought. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Yep. No problem. Nubs only count if they touch things. Yep. So it's always good when we're streaming because we can act as uh, judges there, and if we don't know, we can always Google it. <laughs> just want to address something that came up in chat here real quick. Morallo has a lot of surprising power there with Forlom and Zuckus. You can do a lot of damage denying defensive mods. Uh, yes. He demonstrated this in his last game versus... Uh, Guri. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that Taking game. Taking Guri down in two shots. Yeah. Um, what? What just happened? I believe he just flew the fifth brother off the board. Did he set the wrong maneuver and it go off the board? Looks like he set a five straight with fifth brother angled toward the board. Oh no. Oh man. That's not good. That is definitely a rather oh. dramatic shift in power there. I wonder if he just set the dials backwards or Oh man. I I I feel like Mark see. should let him let him undo that. He hasn't seen anything new. Um, I wonder if he set him backwards. Suntir might have been supposed to be doing the five straight, and Suntir on a five straight would have made a lot more sense there. The yeah, two bank is a and the Inquisitor and doing the two bank would have. Oh, apparently Mark did give him the opportunity to take it back, and Aaron just said nope. So uh, hey, you know, maintaining your honor that's that's a thing. Yeah. Um, you know, there's 51 points to Mark and uh, one-third of your firepower off the board. Um, and especially kind of your secret weapon there. That fifth brother homing missile passive sensors combo is um, is money. I mean, if, if they say, okay, I'll take the damage, and you say, cool, I'm going to add another crit in there. Um, you know, right, If they make you roll it, you're rolling four dice, so the target lock, and at least, and mm -hmm. ideally, it's you force. Yeah. So, okay, so here's Vader doing his three hard like we thought. Uh, Afterburners, I don't think it's really going to help. He could definitely, I think he needs to grab that target lock, barrel roll, um, and just pray. Oh, there's the oh. Afterburners. Look like he may be trying to get a shot. Yeah, there. we're going to see a, uh, so there's the Afterburners. He's probably going to need to barrel roll to get that. Uh, maybe not. Yep. No. It looks close. I wouldn't risk it for certainly. I would definitely barrel roll just in case. Because mm -hmm. he's already in a position to take the target lock no matter what. Yeah. Or the, the stress no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then target lock and focus. And actually, he might have gotten into range one there, which is good for him, in a way. It's good. Excuse me. It's good, but it's also not good because now he's sitting right in the position that we rolled onto that rock if Asajj gets the hit back. Ooh, that is true. That's something that you don't think about until it is too late. Though I do not think he's quite bar fat, back far enough that if he gets put on the rock, he'll fly over it again. I don't know. that little The little finger pointed forward. Okay. Mm, if it's past the halfway point, you will. No, if it's past the three-quarter way point, you will. Oh, that's right. Yep, if you only move back yep. a quarter of a base on a forward or backward roll. That's right. I hate the new barrel rolls. <laughs> right. <laughs> I want the old ones where you could adjust them. Ooh, that's uh, that's spicy. 
It's a spicy meat the ball. Yep. Uh, in this case, I think you spend a force. You know, just do it. Drain the force, but you're not going to get a good shot like that again. Um, did Asajj miss that trigger to uh, give a stress to Vader there? Perhaps. I think so. Oh, looks like he's rolling late. All right. It's the time you do it. Oh, so Vader did not spend the force to get the other. Oh, no, he's making him yeah, reroll. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Anything yet. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Alfred is making him reroll everything. Oh, did so. Not change much. Slightly better. No no other crit in there, but now he's right. just going to change definitely, one to a crit. He's definitely still taking one crit. But there's a chance that it can be blocked. Yeah, I mean you got you got to spend the force there. You can spend something. Now I'll taste it up the same. I get what you're saying. All right. Well, so it's just going to be two shields there. here. Okay. Yeah, that could have been uh, starting the damage race off. Could have been a, have been a really a very hard. bad day for Asajj. Mm-hmm. I like Soontir's position there, especially if he has he does have the shot, um, and he's protected by that gas cloud from Morallo's shot, so that's pretty nice there. It's true, but range three on Morallo obstructed, probably not going to deal damage the other way, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I, no mods on phone. I would imagine that um, Mark decided to not, he chose not to do Asajj's um, ability there because it does cost a force. That is true. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, though, because now you're preventing him. If you do, you prevent him from doing a 4K here, um, which is a very likely next move. Potentially. But he does also have Teltraverian position to engage Ooh. on that. Look at that. Asajj rolling the heat. Three evades. Getting them natties. Wait, wait. Which Taking button is that? <laughs> the natties is... Shot from Morano. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Dicey three hits. Wow. Uh, I mean, you know, five dice at range three with a gas cloud. Uh, Suntier doesn't dice have at range any. Three with a pseudo evade token, but he doesn't have any green tokens to yeah. use. So. So he only gets the the soft evade from the yeah. gas cloud. Oh, but soon and Zuckus can reroll something else. Yeah, Suntir is the only one he can really prey on. Oh, that was what we didn't talk about earlier. Is Morallo's ability to do the thing doesn't really affect force users as much, um, unless they have an evade token. And now that the Grand Equ or now that uh, Fifth Brother's gone, it doesn't matter as much. But uh, could see Suntir taking a hit here. It looks like we will. Yeah, it looks like just one damage. But Zuckus turning that evade, or rerolling that evade into a blank definitely means some damage is going through. Mm hmm. It's just one, but when you've only got three. <laughs> yep, chat discussing uh, heartily now whether or not you do take it back or whether you offer to your opponent to take it back. Um, the consensus, I think, in the chat is that most people would say, no, take it back, or even tell your opponent, no, please take it back. I don't want to win like that. Um, you know, that's kind of how I am. I mean, unless we're talking like finals, you know, of worlds or something, <laughs> you know, and I'm right on the edge of the cut, but yeah, I, I definitely say, you know, no, put your shit back. I don't want to, I don't want to win like that for, for weeklies and monthlies and casuals. I don't think that's a problem at all, but I think, I think it's something like a system open, even in round one, I would probably hold them to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, if, it, if it's a monthly or a, or a casual game night and someone does that, take it back. It ain't worth the trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's you know, you don't want to make... Yeah, don't give someone just a bad time. Right. Um, you I'm know. not sure exactly what tier you would consider the Corona Cup at, but... Mm -hmm. uh, they, they made the decision between themselves. Mark offered to let him take it back, and Aaron decided not to. Yep, exactly. And, you know, Aaron's going on that mindset of, nope, I'd rather, you know, let it hurt. I made the mistake. I'm going to learn from it. And uh, we have, you know, one of our very own Jacks is very much the same way. It's like, nope, you have to learn from it. You have to learn from the pain so you don't do it again. Um, you know, I guess the caveat here would be in TTS, if it was a technical mistake and not a, 
not a misplacing type thing. Like, you know, if you set the wrong dial next to a ship, that's one thing. But if you uh, if you clicked it and it didn't go to the maneuver <laughs> it was supposed to. Corona Cup is obviously the very top tier of X-Wing play. <laughs> yes, super premiere. Super duper premiere, even. Like, this This is this is above worlds. Yeah, it's, serious we should take it. it's super squirrel secret. <laughs> super secret squirrel it's, stuff. It's for exactly that reason that I've taken to color coding the rest of my dials in GTS. Because, you know, now, mm -hmm. when you fly multiples of the same ship, it color codes them automatically for you. I've gone through and color coded all of them, just to avoid that specific case from happening. Mm-hmm. And I've color coded my dials in the real world. We use those little those little stickers Javier got for us. For any time I'm flying more than about two of the same ship. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, color coding is very helpful. I do almost wish that TTS automatically color coded every ship you have, even if they are different ships. Ooh, interesting call with Asajj there. Just going with the bank and the rotate. Rotating to the side, it looks like covering Cintur. Huh. I would have thought of five K. I would have thought the five K was the move there, um, putting you in good position to come back into the fight. Hmm. Morallo just cautiously coming around. Probably won't end up with a shot here. It depends on how fast Cintur goes, but yeah, I tend to agree. Yeah, Cintur probably wouldn't target like that anyway. Just yeah. have it for there for later. Mm -hmm. Target lock is always the best idea when you don't know if you're going to have a shot or not. Ooh, wow. Right up to Playing right it there. spicy. Um, I would say we're probably going to see a barrel roll here to prevent the next turn flying right over that rock and possibly giving up half points. You could even see a... Barrel roll and a boost to get in better position for next turn. I mean, maybe, but if he does barrel roll here, he may be far enough from massage to not concern himself with that, to leave his dial open for a K turn or a sleep next turn. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Morallo is definitely not, you know, looking at him anymore. Or Teltravero, mm -hmm. I mean. Yep. Uh, one thing, if that was uh, Nomlom there, that would be a whole different story. Then you'd have... Um, to make that decision of do I want to get in position to shoot at that ship or don't shoot at it and then it can't shoot at me. I could see I could see him doing a boost here, a boost to the left, and that sets him up for the too hard next turn. True. Um, and it does put put the arc onto Teltrover right there. Oop. Oop. Did he hit the wrong button? Was that intentional? I don't know. Nope, I don't think it was. Okay. Yep, you gotta... No. Again, it's, you know, look at what you're doing, and that's why you always want to be in a Discord channel with your opponent, and you want to say what you're doing. You know, make yes. it clear your intentions if you're unsure about the buttons. Absolutely. It looks like that lineup with the side there is definitely mm -hmm. in the right direction. Yep. However, if Vader like was stressed Vader. there, ooh, that could have made a big difference if Vader was stressed there. You know, the they don't have a great set of blues. Oh, can't do that there. Uh, but this is where it comes with kind of you have that that newer um, in basis player, not really hundred percent sure what they're doing. Um, yeah. I'm a little confused about that boost there, though. With a little bit of camera pan, you can see it definitely will not fit. Yeah. Like, it's not even a question. I wonder if he's just not uh, not checking it, or... Hmm. It's interesting. Maybe. From where his camera normally sits, I could see how it would be a little, little bit differently. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the most important things to get a handle on NTTS is rotating the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay. Going to get a couple awesome. damage right there onto the uh, toilet bowl. Yep. So, you know, it, it's right. It is it is a definite uphill battle for Aaron now. Um, it is still doable. You know, I, I will say it's absolutely still doable. Yes, especially with all, all of Vader and the better half of Center. Mm -hmm. He still has a lot of potential to do a lot of damage really quickly. Yep. And uh, with the way that Mark has kind of spread out his list... 
um, it's possible that you might only be taking one shot around. Absolutely. So, so what what Mark has to, or what uh, Aaron has to do here now is take out two halves, whether that's one ship or two half ships, to make up the points without losing anything else mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to recover the lead. Because all of Mark's ships are worth more than fifty points. Absolutely, yeah. But none of them are worth a hundred. Ooh. Well, there's a good roll for Aaron to see. <laughs> so I was going to spend the force, because why not? All right, Vader being safe. Yep. So we are going to see Tell's range one shot here with a focus. Um, lucky for Aaron that uh, Tell couldn't quite reach that target lock earlier, because that would be a very bad shot to be taking right now. Sure, but he does have R5P, so he does get the one reroll. Ooh, Not and he, he doesn't needs. need it here to spend that focus, and Vader has taken at minimum a shield. Rerolls oh. are for chumps. All right, let's see it. Oh, wow. Wow. That's you could hope for there. Vader just taking one shield from that. That is... Uh, it's always terrible to see if you're the guy who just rolled fire reds to see your opponent basically natty out of uh, of something that could be crazy. Um, it hurts a while, little. While I'm not about hate on Vader, I think it's there's better ways to spend those points. It did get him back up to full force there. With the one recovered for the turn and the one recovered for the damage. That is true. That is true. I, I generally am against hate on Vader just because I don't think you have such a limited health pool that I don't think it's as crucial because usually exactly. if you're taking damage, it's pretty serious. It uh, is. It is most definitely a luxury item. For yeah. Sure. You know, there's not a lot else I'd put in, in that list and he is at 185, So it's not like he is short on points. Um, probably would like to see maybe stealth device on soon tier. Potentially a more not crack shot EPT be pretty valid as well yeah um predator is always a good one um predator and target and computer don't go together necessarily but um yeah. for two points to get the rerolls if you do have to spend both actions on not target locking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially being able to come into a fight with focus evade that does make a ship very hard to put damage on mm -hmm. all right asajj ended up Fine. on that rock. I don't like he ain't afraid yep keeping that rock or keeping that arc pointed out the side though so does cover a lot of ground and of course if vader moves forward at all he'll be back in that three dice front arc oh that oh that looked like a bump there oh boy it was a red bump Ooh. okay if soon tier did that hard too um oh is that oh nope soon tier just saying you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna fly away for a minute here i can see this area getting real congested So yeah, too hard to fade right there. With think him. about your actions here. Well. Think about it. Target lock first, then boost. Or, okay. <laughs> or get closer. <laughs> yeah. This way, Asajj can shoot at you now. Yep. I'm definitely not sure what's going on in Aaron's head here. Yeah, you brought that targeting computer. Use it. You know, especially well, he has in a, a chance. Morella right now. Oh, does he? Is that yep. his? Yeah. And that's what he took instead of a focus when he got shot through a cloud and took a damage. Ah, yep. Or instead of an evade. Oh, no. Now that is not ideal. Not ideal, but not the worst thing in the world. Unless he rolls a strain, because he is range one, not obstructed of Morello right now. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, if he, he was obstructed, I'd say it could help him. World of hurt. No, no strain. Oof luck but the only only actions he's got is his force because he is now out of afterburners as well not that he could because he can't boost over obstacles mm -hmm. taking that range one yep you gotta do what you can even if it's not much mm -hmm. yeah oh i don't even know if you really spend it there but yeah, it worked for him. He got two. Yeah. I can see an argument for spending it versus not spending it, but two force should be plenty to defend him. Of course, it would most definitely be plenty if you took Brilliant Evasion instead of Hate. <laughs> not that I'm saying Brilliant Evasion is good, but it is an option. Yeah. 
right. Well, Morello not rolling a lot of uh, a lot of rough stuff back. Ooh, well, there's your two force right there. The only question is, does he go for the Zuckus reroll, knowing that it can't make it any worse? I don't know if you do it there, because um, you're gonna end up stressing yourself with your limited dial. He's thinking about it. He's definitely thinking about it. He could have also used it on himself no. to re-roll the blank, right? Is that how that no, works? No, Zuckus only works on defense dice. Okay. I'm thinking of the, the other build we saw with Lando on Morallo. Right. Was awesome. Land, uh, Lando and Triple Zero, right? Was it? Um, I believe it was on Paylob had Lando. Mm. Well, yeah, there was that one, but there, which was, that was super Paylob. That was, was like that was the greatest the, thing. The Ooh. Ooh, that's uh, that's not good there. Mark just took that other shield on Vader. Now I'm you are in it. the danger zone. Um, I don't think I there's do anywhere you'd like to move with him. first should have been the play. Mm -hmm. Taking your less optimal but supporting shot there. Get the yeah. tractor beam out. Because if you can get that tractor... Jeez, and Vader's going to go through that cloud again, going to not get another action. Yeah. Ooh, but not it's like spot. Asajj's as well, so she's mm -hmm. still not going to be able to turn her arc forward, or her yeah. mobile arc forward. If I'm Vader, I'm going to three hard to the left here, and I'm going to say I need Most to reset left. and just get out of here. Maybe soon tier just too hard to the left and maybe take a range three shot at somebody. Not in a huge risk of getting getting a lot of shots on you you might be taking a shot from morallo um, no did not take the stress there it's important to know so you can three hard and take the focus as well mm -hmm. and he does still have the target lock on since here all right well uh, Asajj. yep on the gas cloud mm -hmm. no strain Oh, the tractor wouldn't have worked there, right? Because uh, you have to have your mobile arc pointed towards the front as well. Oh, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Caster pedal only works off the front while your mobile arc is there. Mm -hmm. But it's still it's still something to think about, though, is you still want to get in the habit of always shooting with Asajj first. Right. And you always want to shoot with your lesser shot if your opponent has something like Force or Focus. Um, because then you can start stripping that away on just the, the random chance that, you know, your two dice at range three might just do something. Yeah. All right. All right. Around, keeping that arc wide open. Mm -hmm. Flying over a gas pound, but with as much health as he has, yeah. he's probably not too worried about it. Well, if he's getting shot at, he's not rolling dice to defend himself now. We'll see if soon tier... the worst since winds up, because that front corner is behind the gas cloud there. Mm -hmm. Too hard. So right there, he has him straight on, not going to be an obstructed shot, and that is his target lock. Ooh, I would uh, focus, maybe barrel roll to the left, because you might end up getting your crack shot. Well, but you're not rolling any dice, so <laughs> you do get a free focus, though. So if you focus barrel roll and end up in, and he ends up in your bullseye, you get two focus, one for offense, one for defense. I think more likely evade boost should be the correct play here. You think that boost will get him into the? I do. I don't think a, I really don't think a barrel roll will. Yeah. Far too wide a distance to cover. But it also may bring that gas cloud into play. And keeping mm -hmm. Sinjir healthy right now is a lot more important than dealing damage. Mm -hmm. Although again, morale is at one, or is at zero agility. Mm -hmm. So even only that one die, yeah, is not going to prevent a lot of damage. Yeah. And of course, with crack shot open. Okay, so we're going to see the focus and the barrel roll. Okay. I think he was thinking the same thing I did. I don't think he did. I don't think he caught it. He is most definitely not. Um, unless he ended up with Tell in the bullseye there. Ooh, Vader doing a 4K here. But he does still have the target lock on Asajj, so at least he's going to get his three dice. Um, just not going to get the focus. But uh, that's definitely something you want to remember with Afterburners is save them till you can use them well. Right. Uh, because right now, if he was able to to Oof, boost back in, oh god, yeah, if he had afterburners, he could do some serious damage. Yeah, 
So Asajj is you know, double seven. force modded. Ooh. Mm. So it's really a matter of how much of Asajj's force Vader can take away. But because of hey of Maul, I should say. No, this never mind. No, this, this one doesn't have Maul. Mm -mm. Yeah. Just the two force. <laughs> yep. All right, soon tier. This is you got some options here. Asajj is shieldless. You could go with Asajj, but uh, Moralo is sitting there strained. So no dice in range Laser two. Yep. All right. I think that's the right call here. You are splitting your fire, but it's the better of the shot. And remember, your goal here is to get half points on things, not mm -hmm. necessarily to kill. All right, well, there's two damage. Because killing any of these ships is going to be a long process. Uh, Especially Tell, who doesn't die when she's yeah, killed. Yeah, you can definitely focus fire, though. But... Uh... Mm, you're on a blank into a blank. Mm. It's never fun. All right. Yep, spending that target lock there. Sadly, not super effective. All right. So yeah, the two is... damage is effective. Yeah, two damage helps. Two damage is two damage. Yep. So you are two away from half, I believe. Yep. Vader range two onto Asajj. Yes, he has two more damage away from half. Okay, so that's twelve total. Ooh, just... this could be bad for Asajj. You're praying for like a weapons failure here. Or two blanks. Ooh, that's even. Oops. Two okay. blanks and a weapons fail would be the. Yeah. Uh, what was that panic pile? Damage engine. Damage. Ooh, that's that's pretty good for Asajj there. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Her three hards are still white now. Yeah. It definitely does ran her in on the two hard mm -hmm. being red. Marlon going for his only shot. All right, easy options there. Soon tier. Oh, he's so gonna reroll first. Soon tier does have that token, so the reroll from Zuckus is not quite as effective, unless he uses Forlom. Oh yeah, yeah. He does have both. That is true. Yep, there's yep, the there's... Token. Forlom is turning off that focus token. Mm hmm. This could be a dead soon tier, right? Oh. That is a dead century right there. Well, wait. No, he has to, to re-roll it. Yeah, he's he's, he's got to right. tell him to re-roll it here. But if it's not another evade, he's dead for sure. Yeah, somehow I and got it in my it head. And it is not in the... hits, but, but it's definitely not another evade. Ooh. So that is dead soon tier. Oh. Commentator's curse. Yep. <laughs> Should, shouldn't have said anything. Mm-hmm. Yep, soon tier is a great ship, but you have to fly super KG. Um, but if you have the points, staple that stealth device onto it, um, because it makes a world of difference. Right. And the evade action. The evade action yes. is your friend. The evade action is not negotiable. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what to do, you evade. Focus. Use your ability to focus. Evade is almost always better. Mm-hmm. Not always. If you're rolling five dice, mathematically, the focus is better. Mm -hmm. Of course, Suntir has the potential to get both. Yeah. Of course, ideally, Suntir is just not going to be shot at. Right. <laughs> so it's, you know. But, uh, oh, Vader. Okay, Vader's safe. From Morello. Or from Tell. Oh, yep, and he did roll the right amount of dice. So there's kind of the thing we were talking about earlier. Um... You should have shot with Asajj first there, because while he was still strained, he'd only be rolling two green dice, as opposed to changing changing four to two, to three. Not the same. But he does still slip a crit through. Yep, and it's hull breach. Hull breach. Ooh, well, not the worst well, thing in the world, with, but... With two health left, it's probably not going to matter much. Yeah. Um, I mean, in this game... And with Vader's action economy, be able to just... Oh, I fix it. We're good. Yeah, this game is going to be over pretty soon here. Um, yep. Did he recover his force from uh, taking his damage there with hate? I don't know if he did or not. I don't think it'll matter. He's only missing one charge, so he'll get it back at the end of the round anyway. Well, this was the end of the round. <laughs> right. So I think I think he needs to go up one. There we go. There okay, go. he got it. But, uh, you know, it sure would be nice to have a, a whole other ship left on the board. 
Yep. Okay, well, the Saj is going to be strange feeling here. Pretty, it would be nice to have some actions right about now. Mm-hmm. So, strange? win conditions here. You got to... Uh, you got to kill Asajj and Moralo. Pretty much. Let's see. So you need to kill, or you need to kill 108 no, you, points. You have, kill, you have to kill two ships and half the other one. Uh, no, because remember, you got a 15 point bid. So you only need 108 points to lead because you have, let's see, you have half on Asajj. So if you kill Asajj, that's 77. Yeah, you'd have to kill two ships. Yeah. Yep. Is and... is Mark's list at two hundred? Uh yes. Mark's list okay, is at two hundred. Yes, Hell could be unharmed. Because Aaron still has fifty four points on the board until is only worth fifty three. Yep. Uh no, Aaron only has thirty nine points left on the board. Plus his bid. Oh, plus his bid. Okay, guess yeah. So fifty four. Yeah, Intel is fifty three. Right. Um, but with 18 minutes left on the clock, it's not looking hopeful. Mm -mm. Uh, they do have 18 minutes plus two rounds, so get a little bit of a shot, but uh, Vader's going to switch his target lock over to Tell. Uh, I mean, I, why not? And take a focus. If you have a shot, take a shot. Of course, he left Hull Breach up, <laughs> which is yeah, the big gamble like there. Of course, the flip Hull Breach should have been a priority there. Because if Tell sneaks through one damage, and that damage comes through face up. Yep. Direct hit along the game. Turn one hit into a kill. He may be looking at it, though, and saying, ah, I don't think Tell has a shot. But uh, I think Tell does. Oh, Tell definitely has a shot. <laughs> All right, so change that to a crit, then spend the lock, or just FCS. Oh no, 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 hit an arc forward. She may not have a shot. Oh yeah, that's what I was going off of was the front arc. All right, well, hit hit crit. That could uh, do something here. Hotel oh, is two shields Straight down. So that's hit crit. And it's a structural damage. Ooh, I don't really think it changes much. Um, you can now kill Tell and half Moralo and kill Asajj, but yeah. I mean, Tell uh, Tell is almost an ignorable shot right now. Ooh, look at that! I don't think Tell has that shot. Nope, because Tell does not give up enough points to recover the lead mm -mm. on a kill. Yeah, if he had gotten one more damage to there and gotten the half points, sure it helps, you know, because it's just a free twenty-seven points essentially. Um, all it cost you was one force this turn. So, Moralo, flying off the board or turning to the left? Um, I think a straight maneuver off the board is probably his best move here. Mm -hmm. Gonna try and preserve those points. Because if, uh, if Vader is gunning for Moralo here, um, you, gotta, you gotta protect it. Oh, the other thing is it's a quick and dirty way to turn around without any stress. Mm -hmm. Especially because he is stressed now. So a blue stress. three straight forward clears that stress, turns him around. Mm -hmm. Does still have those two ion tokens, though. So if he wants to use uh, Forlom again, he might think twice. Right, but when using Forlom... I think in this matchup, the Forlom decision is, does my opponent have a green token? Then use Forlom. Uh, Maybe a little see. different with Vader having a pile of force lying around, kind of reining that in a bit. But Forlom's ability, especially against uh, highly ev highly evasive aces. Mm -hmm. uh, Jax, yes. Killing Tell and Moralo now does win as well. Um, you're right. So there's... He has a couple options. Oh, yes, because he got half on Asajj. That's right. Yeah, because he does already have the half points there on Asajj. That's right. He needs some combination of 108 more points to take the lead um, without taking two damage on. So he's got five on Tell or five on Asajj and eight left on Moralo. So he's got to get a minimum of 13 damage left to win. And he's got, 
14 minutes plus two rounds. Uh, I mean, it is doable, but it is the dice gods have to be in your favor for sure. Well, he could do 12 damage if he kills Tell and kills Asajj and half Morello. Mm -hmm. And he is, he is pushing crits. I mean, crits are kind of his thing. It's true. And with the structural damage on Tell and the damage engine on Asajj, it's definitely going to limit his Ooh, options a little bit. Okay. I love it. I love it. He did the Talon right behind Tell there. Uh, did Tell rotate? Is that what the stress is from? Like Tell rotated sideways. Ooh, I don't so know if that's... We'll be taking a crack back here if he is not able to put Tell off the board. I am going to... Ooh, Possibly. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... And of course, you do have to kill Tell twice. Yeah, that is true. He could, he could push through five damage right here. Somehow. Through some combination of hits and crits. Uh, I and mean, it's, that, with that still... roll, that's pretty darn close. Ooh. You spend both of those force tokens. Because Tell does get removed from the board, right? It has to right, reset. He has to deal five damage and the crit has to be a direct hit. I would probably spend one force and save the other one for defense. Or fire control one and force the other. All right, okay. let's... I mean, you're you're so far down on points right now. You just you do it. I mean, you you've got a crit in there for sure. Um, it can be any combination of things. Nope. Okay, you just meant one. Oh, see, that would have could have done so much more. And it is a damage engine. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, now his other turns are red, too. Oh, and Tell does have the shot. Yes. Yep. Right, it is out the side arc. Oof. Of course, watch, watch now he rerolls a hit into a crit. <laughs> and that... Ooh, could be game. We'll see. He's going to spend the force to live. Maybe About live. Five, one in six, one in... One and six chance here? Yep, something like that. There that's a direct. Oh, and that's game. Oh, man. But look at how close in to a, some extent that this game was. You know, considering he flew two ships against three large base ships. Um, yep. Hey. I mean, so Morello is not on the board. He doesn't. He's, he counts as destroyed, right? <laughs> I, I think. I think I looked into that out of worry, and he's just counted as reserve. Yeah. Right. They created that whole new doctor. thing. <laughs> yeah. But he's, uh, he's doctor yeah. side of the board. That's right. All right. Well, let's see. Um, yeah. Wow. But uh, that game. I mean, it flying a ship off the board before any any shooting had happened, and then getting fairly close to what could have been a comeback. Um, you know, a couple of different dice results on like soon tier there. And, you know, if you kept them alive, maybe one more round, you could have pushed more damage and, you know, it would be a whole different game. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I know I clicked the too hard on fifth, but the, I guess I didn't click it properly and it never set to the too hard. And so it was on the moon overheated last turn. Yeah, and and, you know he's a hell of a sportsman. Um, well, hey, he, that's if this was a real I mean, tournament, and my dial was set to five straight. I would have had to do a five straight. Well, that's fine. I, that's, that's he, didn't, he didn't want to. He didn't want to take it back. Um, yeah, you, you spawned a lot of talk in the chat about that. <laughs> about yeah, you know, well, do you take just, it back? And you got a, a split between oh, I'd have taken it back, and no, I wouldn't have. And you know, at least he offered. I don't, and I don't know what the right call is, but he should be applauded for. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you, you did the honorable thing. You said, no, I messed up. Um, the, the caveat that I do give it is, like, TTS, if it's a technical thing, you're like, no, I clicked this, then... I'm pretty sure I did, but obviously I didn't, so yeah. whatever. It's I mean, it no does happen. Idea. There are some technical things yeah. where you click it and it just doesn't set, and, um, right. you know, but, again, it's, it's situational, and it's a choice. It's two players deciding what they wanted to do, and you made your choice, and, you know, the, congratulations mm -hmm. for choosing to say, nope, I'm going to take the damage or I'm going to 
lose the ship, and I'm going to remember this, so I always check my dials before I start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, otherwise, you, you flew a hell of a game, man. Yeah. Um, Vader, Vader was just deviling <laughs> me for the whole freaking time. <laughs> All right, so Christian, sure. why don't you uh, chat with uh, Aaron there and kind of get his game strategy and after-action report there. Alrighty. Um, so, Aaron, going into this, mistakes notwithstanding, what was your plan here? I saw you set up your ships just kind of wide out across the board. Yeah, I saw he had them all grouped on, the, uh, I guess it would be my board left side, left his right. Right. Um, and I didn't want anything to do with the straight dose for that, obviously. So Absolutely. Get out of there. Um, and then uh, the, the plan before the brother disappeared was to try and get some flankers get some people kind of coming on his sides and maybe get in behind them so those ships can't turn around the greatest as well as Saj can but right and then try and use Vader as bait basically yeah but as soon I as mean, his brother was gone it was just kind of like oh man I, now I <laughs> I gotta start yeah I mean as, like, I took that bait with Vader I'll tell you that yeah, you did. And the chat, yeah. we were all saying, no, just people were defending you. No, he's not going to take the bait. He's not going to take the bait. And sure enough, no, I, I, called, I, I called the five straight there. <laughs> I, I, I felt like I had to because, you know, if I if I leave Vader just sitting there to one bank and toss three, you know, four dice into me every single turn, I, I lose this game in about five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vader I is figured, definitely not a ship you want behind you. Right. No, I figured you a good job, could you know, corral soon to here, but somebody had to make sure Vader wasn't just like able to do whatever the hell he wanted. Right. You did a good job on keeping me honest with Vader for sure. Yeah. The, though I, I feel like you started learning Vader me. the whole time. Mm -hmm. I feel like you started learning me by the end of the game and, and your, your, your shot percentage with Vader was just going up and up. And... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too bad. I couldn't get focus fire, but you, you, could kind of like get one out of there and leave right. the guy in there and stuff. So that yeah, was kind of, just I just have to take the shots I had. Yeah, so right. that is what it is. All right. Well, you uh, you played one heck of a game. You were quite the honorable sportsman there, and uh, you know, good luck to you. This is only the second round, and you're one and one now, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you just got to win three more, and then you're moving on. So yeah, we'll see that's if we can pull one off. One. Doesn't matter what your movie is. Yep. All right, Mark. Um, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say it was a good game. Thanks, guys. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Good to play. Um, Mark, I know we talked a little bit about uh, your kind of your plan and your strategy and your thoughts before this got started. Um, you know, we talked about, like, Morallo not being able to affect the Force users. Um, but when one of them disappeared from the board into a black hole, we'll call it, um, and then you were able to use it on Soon Tier quite effectively, the one ship that you were... Um, you know, able to use your shenanigans on. So tell us a little bit about kind of your thought process and, you know, how things yeah. went to you. Well, Morallo, I, th I mean, you, I, I was thinking before the game, Morallo's entire existence here was just killing Suntir. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he, he just had to follow Suntir around the board and kill him. Uh, and he did a really good job of making that really difficult. Um, you know, hanging out behind gas clouds, running away really quickly and trying to get in, you know, trading shots instead of just brawling but uh i i knew morale just had to hunt soon tear down mm -hmm. and then I, I was just kind of hoping that the other two could keep the force users busy in the meantime mm -hmm. yeah I, I did point this out earlier that 180 arc is very difficult to get out of once it's pointed the right direction Absolutely. right well and the thing for soon tier too is you know he most most of the time soon tier has a focus for defense or two focuses one for defense one for offense Right. And that's a very, very nice target for Morales for Right. Um, so, you know, that I, I figured I was hoping I could take Suntir down in two good shots from Morallo, and I think I did that. Uh, one through the gas cloud and then mm -hmm. that one that mm -hmm. last one there. Um, but Vader was gonna be a harder target to crack. Um, and he was capable of just dumping so much freaking damage on me. Yeah, and with you know, the limited amount of shields that your list has um then being able to get those crits underneath you know could be a real big problem for you for sure absolutely mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's the big bane that big ships have they have mm -hmm. a lot of hull points and not a lot of shields so mm -hmm. crits can be very debilitating especially when they stack up yeah and Sudjir definitely wants to see large base ships um, because it is great for him to get that easy bullseye 
However, I don't think it actually triggered at all this game. I don't Not think so. Nope. Yeah. Um, he kind of went for it there with the barrel roll in that last one. Um, and I, I was kind of leaning towards barrel rolling being a decent idea. I thought it might uh, might catch, but uh, the boost probably would have worked out a little bit better for him. Yeah, yeah. Although, although play as well. it, it, it honestly, though, at the end of the day, it wouldn't have, have affected anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he right. was never going to get this. He had one for offense, and he was never going to get to spend one for defense. That is fair. That is fair. Um, um, he could have just I, stayed I mean, probably where he was and stayed at range three. Right. Or, the, the option was take and evade and then try to get your bullseye. Right. And this, this right. is some, some, some advice to Aaron going forward. Evading is when you're rolling three or four green dice, evading is mathematically better. Right. For, for yeah, I was, and that's so, kind of what I was looking towards between an evade and a focus and trying to hit that bullseye but i didn't know if i was going to be able to get it so i wanted to focus just in case i needed it for my attack but i I I I probably should have gone full defense there because yeah that was my mistake for sure i mean and and that's you you said this was your only it's your second game playing imperial aces um they are definitely a a hard hard list to learn (laughs) yeah i'm uh, definitely come from a more of a scum jank and uh rebel beast background so mm. this is this is definitely a learning curve yeah it but, is but i mean you but like it's... i said if, if you uh a, li- a couple of things could have gone a little bit differently if you'd had the third ship on the board for the majority of this game i think it would be coming down to the very end the very end of the wire here on who would be winning it i will say that um i mean you were yeah, able to push a lot close. of damage with and a lot a lot of very ships. skillful flying too mm-hmm all right. Well, thank you both for being on stream. Um, I I just have one more question, real quick, just mm-hmm. for academic sake. Mark, yeah, can you put the top card of your damage card de- damage deck real quick? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> if it had been direct <laughs> hit, then it would have <laughs> then everything would have changed. Yeah, your entire oh, life a lot. He'd have to change religions and shave his head. On that last attack, there would have been worth it. Because yeah. if it had been the direct hit and been the kill, it would have sent you know tell yeah. somewhere else mm-hmm. yeah yeah no, no that's true no, no luck definitely, there, i don't know what no uh, probably it wasn't the right call well, i don't know what i mean do it, it's Could one I of those things. gone all in for the the damage but so i'm an aggressive player i would have done it at this point in the game thinking man there's hardly any chance i'm probably not going to live through tell's shot so i might as well try and kill tell and get her out of here then i have right. a whole nother a whole nother round of life um, yeah. but it's again it, it what we see empirically that it wouldn't have made a difference in this case uh, right. well, I, I think you got the direct hit on me i would have actually survived right. by saving that force because i needed right. i think you made the right call <laughs> ultimately i think no but i do i do as someone who flies a lot of aces i think you made the right call you balanced offense and defense and the the rolls bore you out right. it's just the random chance of the cards did it right yeah you know, and what, what and also right you didn't now? know that I was going to blank out completely. You right, know, I right. rolled I rolled double blanks on my defense roll, and I had a focus, so it was actually extremely unlikely. Uh, the number of things that had to happen for me to die there, I right. had to completely blank out. Yeah. No paint whatsoever, and then I had to roll direct hits or fuel leaks, right? Yeah, exactly. So mm-hmm. I I think you made the right call. Just yeah. The fact that like we got halfway there on this unlikely chain of events <laughs> doesn't mean that you were wrong to do what you did. Yeah, that, that's very true. Yeah, don't be results right. driven. Be you know, best practices. Right. Right. Uh, Agreed. Yeah. So definitely, guys, both of you, great game. So, um, awesome. A lot of fun there. It was good to watch. Good to commentate. Um, some mistakes were made, but we kept going. Um, so Christian and I are going to hop down to the other chat here and say our goodbyes and outros. Oh, and that's the timer. <laughs> yep, <laughs> the game just is. ended. So you guys made good time. Um, you got definitely, I wanted to mention one thing is your pace of play was great. Um, I mean, you guys were just trucking along, setting those dials, moving, you know, it wasn't 10 minutes around. It was like, boom, we're set. Let's go. Boom. We're set. Let's go. Um, which I was is trying great. to, I kind of felt I was almost going a little slow there sometimes, but <laughs> Well, no, you you had a you had a great you had a great pace of play. Yeah, for, okay. for, for running triple aces. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, absolutely. I wish all games would go at that pace for sure. Um, <laughs> it makes a huge difference, um, especially you were both at that pace. It's not one of you were ready and just waiting on the other person. 
Right. Um, so yes, good on that for sure. Um, yeah. All right, and you guys have a, a great night, and we're just going to hop over here and say our outros. All right. all right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching here um, on another another game for the stream. Uh, I want to let everyone give a reminder that our summer league starts on the starts at the end of the month. Um, your last chance to buy a ticket will be the 29th, and list must be in by the 30th. So if you haven't signed up yet, um, go over to our Facebook page, check out our event. We got a bunch of prize pictures up there. There's a lot of prizes that have not even come in yet. Um, we have the cool damage deck, or the not damage deck. We do have well, we do have alt art damage decks for uh, factions. We have um, some ships from Big D painting that haven't come in yet. Um, the 3D printed damage deck holders. So we got plenty of other stuff coming, plus the complete plethora of items that we have ready to go. If you haven't already, please follow our channel here on Twitch and like our Facebook page. That'll let you uh, give you notifications when we go live when we're streaming games. If you have Amazon Prime, please just shoot us your uh, Prime subscription. It means a lot to us. It doesn't cost you anything, and it shoots us a couple bucks. Um, or if you have, you know, more money that you want to spend, feel free to just straight up subscribe with real money. Apparently you can do that. What? Uh, real money? I can't afford that. <laughs> exactly. Um, but you know, we greatly appreciate everyone watching. Um, shout out to the 512th out of Austin for putting this on the Corona cup one and two, the sequel, the electric boogaloo. Uh, thank you for everyone playing. If you're getting ready to play a game, let us know when it is. Give us as much notice as you can, and we'll try and stream it for you. Um, Christian? Yeah, shout out to Simple Flips, and we'll see you all next time. All right, shout out to Simple Flips and hashtag birds are not real. Look it up. It's the truth, man. Bird truthers. Don't believe the lies. So, uh, yep, and that's going to oh, be hold us. Up, hold up. Oh, wait, wait, Quick wait. shout out to one of our old members, although he's no longer you know part of the team right now david keaton looks like he just showed up to say hi here oh hey in the chat shout out to keat <laughs> all right well thank you everybody and uh catch us next time and we hope to see you there all right uh, take it easy one.